<laughs> I don't know what that was, I'm sorry. Um, welcome to this video. I'm filming on the floor in the basement. Um, in this video, you'll see that I work in a lot of different places um, because we are on week two of social distancing. And I haven't really left the house at all. Um, it honestly doesn't feel that much different from regular life for me. I don't like to leave the house, but you know, sometimes it is nice to get out. But yeah, I'm editing this video. It was like, oh, I don't have a way to introduce it. So here I am. I was like, I'm going to sit on the floor. <sighs> what else? What else? In this video, it's mostly um, me painting in my sketchbook and how I edit it. Um, and then you get to see the little space that we set up and there's a whole bunch of other different things. What do, you, what do I mean by space that we set up? You'll see. And who is we? You'll see. All very exciting. Maybe um, the world is going crazy, but that's okay. Um, I've been playing a lot of Animal Crossing. I've been drawing a lot. I've been eating a lot of cookies, which is why I have this scab on my forehead because I had a, a mountain of a pimple from all the cookies that I've eaten the last few weeks. Um, but that doesn't matter because that's not what this video is about. So I hope you enjoy and I'll see you later. focuses.
focuses on this camera. Okay, so I just thought I'd show you a little bit of my editing process in Photoshop. Um, there's no guarantee that I am going to explain this clearly or correctly, uh, but this is just what, how I edit my, my drawings and paintings in Photoshop so that they look closer to how they should um, when I post them on the internet. Uh, so first, I opened up my scan file and I'm going to mess around in curves. Um, I really don't really know how to explain curves very well, so if you don't know how to edit with curves, I recommend looking up a video, but essentially you're, you know, kind of messing with the, the lights and darks, the, the lightness and the shadows in the, the image. Um, so that's what I'm doing here because the scanned image was pretty dark compared to the actual painting. So I'm just trying to brighten it up just a little bit before I start editing the, the actual color. So let's see, yep, and then I'm just checking how it looks compared to the original. Um, wow, talking over this is really hard because I don't really know what I'm gonna do next because I don't remember what I did when I recorded this. Okay, but then I switched to the red in curves because um, compared to the original drawing, it's it's a little too orange, so I want to take out the red so it's a little more yellowish. Um, so, and then I'm switching to blue, still same problem, just trying to get it closer. Um, bringing down the, the blue and the highlights, checking it against the original. And um, next I'm gonna go to the brightness and contrast because it's still a little too dark and it's sometimes it's just easier to bump up the brightness in the brightness contrast adjustments rather than in the curves. Um, so that looks pretty good. It, it's getting closer. Um, but then finally, I wanna bump up the saturation because when you scan, or usually when you scan something, um, it, the, the colors are a lot more dull. And so I just want it to be nice and bright and saturated. And I think that's all the editing that I did for this. Let's see what I end up doing. So it looks like I'm doing a whole bunch of nothing. Yeah, okay, yeah, so I'm just saving the file and posting it to Patreon where I do my sketchbook dumps, I think every two weeks on a Wednesday, I'll, I'll post everything that's in my sketchbook, including the really terrible things. And you might think this, this is terrible, but you know, it's one of those things, it's a sketchbook. You're supposed to have fun and experiment, so thanks. That's the end of the video. <laughs> this is gonna be the worst intro and ending ever. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was informative or at least entertaining for a few minutes because I know most people are at home doing nothing. Um, but if you like the video, what do people say? Give it a like, give me a subscribe. I'm on YouTube now. I'm the most embarrassing I've ever been.